Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Today we are going to be talking about a bunch of Christmas gifts that may work for you, that you may want to put on your wish list, that you may want to buy for other outdoorsmen, things like that. These are some uh, kind of off the wall random stuff that we are going to be talking about today that are great things to have um, that may benefit you. First one we're going to talk about here is going to be uh, the power packs that you're having on here. These are jump starters, okay? A jump charger, whatever way you want to call it. I've had these now for about seven years. Actually, this one right here is the one, this Halo one, I've had for the longest. And the thing is absolutely incredible. It works great. I, ex matter of fact, my John Deere lawnmower, I don't even, the battery's been dead for three years. I don't even bother to put a new battery in it. I just take this thing and connect it right to it and uh, jump the battery when I want to use it, and that's uh, I'm all good to go. Now, the nice thing, too, about these, not only do they jump your car and your uh, tractors and four-wheelers and anything like that that you have, they also, as you can see here, they become a power pack. So when we're in camp and we're hunting, we take this thing and we plug it in in camp and leave it there. We can plug our cell phones into it, our other battery packs, our laptops, anything we want when we're in camp. We can actually be running things in there, batteries for cameras, any of that stuff. We can charge them. So it becomes like a, a home base charging station in camp. And like I said, it works great for charging and jumping your cars. Um, what's nice to think about it, even, uh, you know, you buy one of these and you put it even in your wife's car. If her battery dies in the wintertime, she does not have to pull anybody over or, or wave somebody down to get a jump from and deal with a stranger. She can just pull this out, pop the hood, connect it, hit the button on there, fire her car up, pull this off, throw it back under her seat, and she's good to go. For you guys, for us, we're out in the woods, and uh, when we're out there often, we don't have the luxury of somebody to come out and help jumpstart us. Uh, so these things come in real handy. If you you know if you go out there in the wintertime, cold day, and you get out there, or you forget to turn your dome light off or something, and your battery dies, you come back to your car after a, a hunting day and it doesn't work this is a nice way this will save you now these things will jump pretty much any car out there um i've had that one like i said for about six years and it works great. I will put links to all this stuff below. I also just recently bought a Tac Life T8, but I bought it in the Max version because, like, here the T8 would work perfect for most of you guys at the $69 price. Look at all the reviews on that 10,000 reviews. Um, but the T8 will go up to any gas motor that you can have. So, any, even your full, even a, a you know, a, a 250 or 2500 Super Duty with a Hemi or a, you know, uh, you know, big gas engine, it's going to do it. And it will work to a 5.5 liter diesel. Well, my Cummings diesel is bigger, or Cummins diesel is bigger than that. So I went to the T8 Max, which was 20 bucks more, and it's big enough to jump my my diesel motor in there that I have in that, uh, that Ram 2500. But these things are incredible. Um, but like I said, I have this one, that Halo. I've had it for many years. It works still to this day incredible, and I use it weekly. And that Tac Life T8 Max um, is the other one. It's just awesome. Uh, I bet it's still, let's see if it's on here. Uh, jump Charger uh, Tac, what do I call it? Tac Life Jump Starter. Let's see here. And we're looking for the Max is what I got. T8, uh, newer T8, T8, uh, T8. Where's uh, T6s? Here's a T8 Max, 89 bucks. That's what I got right there. This is the one I have. Um, and I'll put links to, down below for you for this stuff. But the thing's just, like I said, it's amazing. And uh, not only does it jump stuff, like I said, it'll charge things. USC, it's a, it's just a power pack as well, too. The thing's just incredible. Um, you know, I, I can't say enough good things about these. They're definitely worth having. So very, very good quality. Um, links will be below for you. Now, also... Uh, if your wife is somebody who has a uh, CPL, likes to carry, that kind of stuff, this purse, my wife has so many purses that are capable for carrying that it's unbelievable. We have spent probably, I'm not joking, I'll bet we spent 1500 to $2,000 in purses for her. And yet, this is the one that she just absolutely loves. It balances well. You can see you can get it in black and get it in brown. It is very affordable price-wise. 
Um, great inside on there, great quality, and then that holster is, it comes with a holster on the inside there. Um, but this, this purse is her absolute favorite, and it is dirt cheap compared to what most of these things cost. So, again, there'll be links down below for you, but it, uh, he, she loves it. Uh, and, and again, having, you know, literally 25 different versions of these things, this is the one that seems to be her favorite. So if you're looking for something for your wife or girlfriend, uh, that may be something worth considering. Links, again, will be down below the video for you um jet sled if you don't already have a jet sled you need to get one of these things this is the jet sled js1 you can see i have it marked on here js1 used to be called the original still is but it is a js1 model they make it in a junior they make it in all different sizes i have done videos on these probably five videos over the years on a jet sled so it is worth checking out um for you if you definitely want to you know check it out and see what's what with a jet sled but these things are just awesome uh you can use them for dragging deer out of the woods you can use them for uh hauling firewood you can use them for anything you want to my first one lasted about six or seven years i just uh in october this year bought my second one uh reason i did is because like said mine was finally getting to the point where it's not wore through yet but because i actually carry this inside my jeep cherokee trailhawk um with deer in it i don't want any pinholes or anything like that or you know to, to come through after all these years of dragging it over gravel cement all that stuff it was just getting a little thin so i didn't want to risk it so i bought another new one i'm still using my old one like crazy but uh when i have one in my cherokee it's going to be this new one just because it's going to be um you know i i trust it to, like i said not leak anything on the back of my seats but this thing is just an incredible incredible jet so i can't say enough good things about it um and then here, now cargo carriers are a very, very big thing for us as hunters. Uh, they give you a lot more room. So if you've got your pickup truck or whatever you're hunting with, you may have a cargo carrier already. But if not, I mean, imagine, let's take a marine grade cooler that you're going to probably bring with you on a hunting trip. That takes up half of the bed of your truck. If you have one of these, you can put it right on the back of this, and now you don't have, you, you've you got half of your truck bed back. And uh, what's nice, though, is I have a couple of these. I have a steel one that I've had for many, many years, probably pushing 15, 18 years. It's very heavy, coming in at about 75 pounds or something. It's about the same size as this. and uh, But it's heavy, and it rusts like crazy. i got to keep spray painting it. I've actually rhino-lined it a couple years ago is holding up all right um but what's nice about this one this is all welded aluminum all right i've seen some there were some other cheaper aluminum ones i actually bought it and then when i got it i laughed at it and sent it back this one i have i took this one to missouri with me this one is aluminum it only weighs 25 pounds the aluminum and it's only 25 pounds and it's still a very good size and this thing is just here's the specs on it you can see it but uh um, the thing is incredible, and it fits a lot. I can fit a full-size marine-grade cooler will fit on this with room to spare. Um, just very high quality. I, I love this this thing. And again, like I said, lightweight, no worry about rust, no worry about anything. This thing's just amazing. So if you're looking for a hitch carrier for your hunting trips, my recommendation is this one, and I highly recommend it. I love mine. Um, another nice thing here, too, this is pretty cool. So we use charger packs for everything. It's just mandatory. It's how things work today. We're always using charging packs for our phones, for batteries, for whatever. Here's a two-pack of them. Okay, I buy a bunch of these things, but here's a two-pack. So you get two of them for $17.99. That's, that's 9 bucks a piece. These things work awesome. And not only do I use them hunting... In, in most of the cars today, when you turn the key off in the car or kill the power to the car, the, you don't have any power to your, to your USB ports. I take this white one, and in my car, I leave it plugged in the mini port, or the middle port here in the middle is the charging port for this. I take that, I plug this in, and I plug it into the USB port in my car. And so when my car is running, it's charging this. But then I have two USB ports off of here, and I can run one to my phone and one to my batteries. And then, uh, you know, I use batteries for all kinds of different things. So I have a USB block that plugs into here that runs all my other stuff for camera batteries, all kinds of things. Um, but you can then, so when I turn my car off, my phone is still charging because this is charging it all the time. So it's kind of like an in-between where your car turns off. When you turn your car off, you lose charging capabilities. If you plug one of these in, 
this will do the charging for you when your car is off. I love these things. And they hold up really well. Um, like I said, I got a bunch of them, but for this price, you just can't beat it. Again, I will have direct links in this video. So if you're watching the video on your phone, right next to the title of the video, there's a little down arrow. Click that little down arrow and it will drop this down. And in the description, you will see links where you can just click right to these things. So you don't have to look at what the names are and memorize this or hunt them down. All the links will be below the video for you. Um, cot wise, I have a lot of different cots. This one right here, $40, 41 bucks. This is amazing. I've did a review on this. If you go to my YouTube channel and you search for a Coleman Trailhead 2 cot, um, this will pop right up for you. This cot is super fast to put up. Probably in about 40 seconds, you can put this, take it out of the bag and set this thing up. Where like my disco bed cots can take 10 minutes per cot to set up, 10 minutes to take down and package up. This is less than a minute on both directions. It's big, it's roomy, it's comfortable, and it just works straight up amazing. And like I said, it's dirt cheap in price. So if you're looking for a new cot, this one is phenomenal. We've got about... 13 nights sleeping on this cot already, and I I just straight up love it. These things work great. Um, next thing we have on here, next great gift idea, binoculars. There's a lot of great ones out there. Now, I actually reviewed the original non-HD models of these a couple of years ago. It's on my YouTube channel if you search for it. Um, and they were good. But when it came out with the HD brand of this, the HD line, I bought these ones to try out and use and see what I thought for these 8x32s. I loved them so much I kept them. I did not send them back. You can see right here. I bought them in March to review and I still have them. They are my pig hunting binoculars and they are also in my truck all the time so I can use them for back roads when we're out looking for deer and things like that. These binoculars are amazing. So I highly recommend them if you're looking for some and as you can see, they are dirt cheap in price. And if you don't want the 8x32s, you can go to the 8x42s. Price is only, you know, 40 bucks more. You can go to a very compact 8x28. You can do it, you know, 10 power or whatever you want. For me and my bang for the buck, that 8x32, that is definitely the one to go with, in my opinion. Again, links will be down below for you. Here, this thing is incredible. Um, you can see I've purchased it twice. Okay, I do all my filming by myself and in the field and take my own hero pictures and all that kind of stuff. This little U-Breezy tripod is ultra compact. It works incredible. You can see here that the legs are flexible. So you can bend it and use it to stand on. You can wrap it around a uh, stick or around a tree, do whatever you want to with it. The head is spring-loaded, so it'll hold any phone. Uh, you can see right here that that head is spring-loaded and it'll fit any phone in there. It comes with a remote, so you can actually hook that up and uh, through uh, through Bluetooth and fire it with a remote so you don't got to keep getting up and running over there. Uh, the main lever right here is a ball head adjustment for, you know, to be able to modify that and angle it how you need it. Comes with a GoPro mount as well, too. And all of this stuff, and you're getting it for, like, 12 bucks plus you get another 20% off coupon on there. I mean, this is amazing. Best mini tripod ever. I have two of them. I don't ever go in the woods without this being in there with me. Highly, highly recommend. And even if you're looking for a great gift for uh, for hunting buddies or anything like that, these things are dirt cheap, and yet they are just such an amazing thing to have. I cannot say enough good things about this little dude. Next up, best headlamp ever made in my opinion. I have zebra lights. I have uh, I have couple phoenixes i got uh army tech i got a bunch of them i got night core this one best one i've ever had i've done reviews on this i'm not going to get too super detailed and everything on here you can read it but what's nice about this is this runs the um you when you buy this particular one by clicking my link on here that you're getting you're getting two rechargeable batteries this will take a cr123 battery or it'll take these rechargeable 16340s that are rechargeable. And what I really like about this is the light, go back to there, the light itself does not have a charging port on it. Okay, you don't have to charge the light. Okay, that's an important thing. A lot of lights, you have to actually take the light and then lose the light while it's charging. Here you do not. The batteries have the plug-in in it, and so the USB port plugs into the battery. So you can have one battery in a light, be using that, and in your car have the other battery charging inside your car on your really cool, uh, wherever they are, right here charger for you. 
and be running that and have that all set up um, and be and have it re that spare battery ready to go or run CR123s. But the price of this is very good. It is awesome setup and the interface is amazing. So I highly recommend. Um, I've talked about it many times. This HM50R uh, Lite is my absolute favorite and it is tough as nails. Next thing we got, Bradford Guardian. Three, Bradford Guardian 3 knife. I have two of these. This is my everyday carry now. I've replaced my Azula with it. This is what I carry constantly. Comes in two different steels mainly. You know, occasionally you find a special run on something like I did on my uh, CM3V. But right here you have, uh, this one right here is going to be in, looking in the middle there, N690 steel. N690 is a fantastic steel. Good stainless steel, and it's priced right. You're seeing you're getting this for 108 bucks, basically. It's a very, very good price. This knife shape and design, I straight up love it. The size, everything about it. Great hunting knife, great EDC knife, great everything for a fixed blade. I love this knife. But it comes in a couple different steels. So you can see there's uh, that uh, N690. If you look at the price, you'll see the other ones. Like here's that uh, M390, but the price went up 50 bucks. But here you're getting M390. This is what I got mine in, is M390. I wish I would have got it in N690 and saved that $50. Uh, I, I just don't think the difference is that important, in my opinion, for, for what I do with it. So um, I think that the N690 is a better deal. And you can get it in two different grip styles, as you see here. This is the flat grip one, which works a little better for in your pocket. It's a little flatter in design. They all come with the leather sheath, which is set up for scout carry, uh, cross draw kind of thing, horizontal on your belt. It's a great sheath, or there's plenty of um, aftermarket Kydex ones for it out there. But this knife is, you can get it, like I said, in that flat scale or you can get it for 10 bucks more in a 3D scale like you have right here. This is more three-dimensional, uh, more rounded for you. It's 7 bucks more, but if you like that, if you're only going to use it as a hunting knife, it's probably a lot more comfortable. If you're going to use it for whittling or carving or bushcraft, this handle's probably more comfortable. If you're going to EDC it, this is probably going to be more comfortable of a handle style. And you can see they got a lot of different blade finishes, all kinds of options on there for you. Um, you know, really cool looking stuff. There's, you know, you name it, they got an option. You can even get it in a sheep's foot like this right here. We can get it in a sheep foot blade design, which is also fantastic if you like that style. That's a Nimbus finish. Um, on there, like I said, lots of great options. Highly recommend that Bradford Guardian 3. It is my, my new favorite EDC knife. Next up, we have famous Columbia Ascender jacket. I straight up love this jacket. Best jacket ever invented in fur hunting, in my opinion. It is wind resistant, water resistant. The thing, think like a Kuyu guide jacket. I'm not saying that this Columbia is as good as a Kuyu guide jacket, but I'm also telling you that this, the Kuyu guide jacket's, you know, over 200 something bucks. This is 69 or 59, depending on your color um, and your size, but this thing is amazing. I love this jacket. I have four of them now. And look at the cool earth tone colors they come in when you look at this. Okay, like that. I have that one. Works great for hunting. Okay, that one, fantastic hunting color. Probably wouldn't wear that little too brown. Fantastic hunting color. Fantastic hunting color. That's great hunting color right there. I mean, it, the list goes another gray one. It's because some of my repeats because of sizes. Great one right there, too. Good one right there, also. I mean, they got so many different options for earth tones. I'd wear that all day long. There's a lot of good ones in here. Uh, that one is my next one. I love that color. I'm going to buy that color next, actually. Um, but so just a fantastic jacket, windproof. Water resistant, fantastic coat. I've done video reviews on them, a couple of them. So uh, you can check them out on my channel if you want. Like I said, links will be down below here for you. Now, if you need new tires for your truck, Falcon Wild Peak AT3s. Okay, you, again, something that I have done video reviews on and I've talked about it many times and I've had these on all nine of my last, my last new trucks, nine Last new trucks have had these tires. I have them on my Cherokee. I have them on my diesel. You will get 80,000 miles minimum all day long out of these tires. They are very good off-road. 
they are very quiet on road till they get to about 60,000 miles. At 60,000 miles, they kind of start to hum a little more and get noisy. But up till then, they are fantastic. And even then, they're still fantastic with great tread life. They just start to, at that point, they make a little more noise. Like I said, I know these things inside now, 10 ply tires, these things are amazing. And their prices on here are fantastic. So um, I, I cannot say enough good things about these. These are just an incredible tire. This one is very expensive because you're looking at a 35, 12, 50. But I mean, look at the, you know, you can see the tread pattern on this thing. This tire is just an incredible tire. Um, I, you got the side lugs on there. I can't say enough good things about them. They're just absolutely best tire I've ever run and it's all I run anymore. So Falcon Wild Peaks, I'll send you the link below will take you right to this page so you can find the exact size tires you need for your truck and have you all set up. Um, when it comes to packing animals out, if you are going to pack them out, you're going to need a frame pack to do it. This Eberly Stock F1 mainframe, I love this pack. Okay, It doesn't say F1 on here, but it is called their F1 mainframe. Love this. I've been using this for, I don't know, five years now, and it's just incredible. It's very slim design between your shoulder blades. It does not stick up high, so that makes this pack snag-free. If your body fits through this, this fits through there very easily. Perfect, simple, always open, integrated load shelf. And then you have one, two, and three compression straps that are buckled from both sides that extend way out far. Plus, with those slots in there, you can add extra strapping. This thing is just incredible. It comes in at about four pounds, and uh, it's just very comfortable for packing animals out. I love this thing, and we use it for a lot of different stuff. My neighbor used it last year for uh, packing corn out to a, a remote spot he had for baiting. He would actually take, or two years ago, I'm sorry, um, he would take my F1 frame pack like this, and he would put two fish. 50 pound bags of corn on it and put that on his back and carry it out there to go fill that uh, spotty head out there. I mean, there's just, this thing's just tough as nails. And like I said, very snag free. It is not cheap at 250 bucks, but is it worth it? 100%. It is an awesome frame. It is my favorite way to get an animal out of the woods is on this frame pack. Just lay it on the ground. Unhook three buckles, throw your game bag on there, lock them in. And then I always carry an extra little pouch on here with me with some extra, you know, with a havel on, some extra little things, game bags. In there, I carry a couple extra straps so I can run the straps right through these slots. And I can lock the antlers in and everything like that, too. Just an incredible little uh, frame system. Now, if you don't want to spend that much and you want to get into packing animals out, this one here by Allen is a very good one as well, too. And as you're looking at it, I know a lot of people are thinking, um, you know, it's like the Cabela's Alaskan frames and all that. No, it's actually not. I have seen this in person. It is very impressive. It is smaller. It is more compact and designed. It's got some great features to it for packing animals out that make it very snag-free and functional. One of the things you notice are these side, right here on the sides, they have these little grommets to hold your straps. So you buy regular lashing straps and you can run them right around the frame. You know, come right in and around, go right around your game bag, but this will keep those from sliding up and down the frame. If you fall and this thing slides forward, your whole game bag straps and everything are not shooting right off the end of this. <clears throat> so it's got a lot of advantage there for you. Now, what else makes it nice is, again, its size is compact and small, but you still have this top bar, which you can see by the height from the shoulder straps, is going to be up too high and it is going to snag. If you look on the side right here, there is a little pin, okay, I can't show you on there, but uh, it's a pin, and you can actually hit that button, and you can extend this up higher if you want, but you can also pull this top section out. You can lift it out and remove it, and then you get rid of that snag capability. If this was mine and I was using it, I would probably take a hacksaw and cut these off right about here anyway, cut that tube off, put a cap on it myself personally, but... If you want to leave that on, you can at least take out this main part so that when you're ducking under branches and things like that, you're not snagging all day. So, and for the money, 75 bucks, it's, uh, you know, fantastic. I don't know what the weight of it is, but like I said, I did try this on, checked it out in person, and it's a very impressive uh, pack system for hauling animals out or anything you need. I definitely recommend this one. I like it a lot versus a lot of the other 
uh, aluminum frame packs that are out there because a lot of them are way too big. This one, very compact, very impressive. I, and for the money, it's a steal. I still believe the F1 mainframe right here, best there is in the world. I would go here myself personally. Uh, I love mine, but that one is a good option as well too. Again, I'll have links down below. Now, when it comes to uh, vac masters or, uh, you know, food savers and things like that, uh, pretty soon you're going to realize that you're going to burn through food savers. I, we burned, we were burning through them in a yearly basis. And that's finally when we broke down and bought this, but this vac master pro 350, again, I have done reviews on this on my channel. We have been using ours now for about six years. This thing is probably done 45, 50 deer. Plus we do half cows for me and a half cow for my mom every year. So, I mean, this thing's done six cows, six full cows. I mean, this thing has done more stuff than you could ever imagine. And it works absolutely perfectly as it, as it always has. It's very easy to get parts if you need them. We have not had to yet, but I did check that out before I bought it. Uh, VacMaster is an amazing company. And if you are looking for a pro-grade um, vacuum sealer type setup without getting into chamber sealers, this is the way to go. It is well worth the money all day long. Um, straight, You buy it once, buy once, cry once. You'll never need another one. But the thing just works on levels that you just can't believe. It's just absolutely the most industrial grade version you can get, which would be expected. It's Vac Master. It's just top notch. Now a chamber sealer, we got here's like a chamber sealer right here. And again, we're talking Vac Master. See, it's still Vac Master. But chamber sealers work a little differently concept, different bags, different setup. These are, are top of the top of the world kind of things. Problem is they're expensive. You know, look at the price of this. You're looking at eleven hundred dollars for this chamber sealer for by Vacmaster. For four hundred bucks, you can get this and do everything you want as well too. Just incredible. Now, I mean, like I said, that chamber sealer is amazing, but this is just absolutely awesome. We love ours. I have the three eighty. Like I said, a little bit bigger. Um, as far as lengthwise, so that I can run bigger. This will do 12-inch bags. Mine will do 16-inch bags. Um, we're never going to use 16-inch bags. You usually use the 8-inch and the 11-inch bags, which they probably got. See, like right here, 8-inch roll and 11-inch roll. That's all we ever use bag-wise. So I don't know why I got the bigger one. I'll never use the bigger one. This uh, this one right here is definitely the one you want is that VacMaster Pro 350. So, all right, that gives you some good gift ideas, some things to maybe think about for yourself. Show this video to your friends or to your spouse if you're looking for some of these things to give them a, an idea. Um, hopefully some, some interesting stuff there for you. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon here with some more stuff. Thanks.